Hey, hey, look at this, English volume conversions. That's convenient because it's the language I speak. So, and Southern English and Pig Latin. But yeah, these are inches, feet, miles, all this kind of jazz. You know, when I was a kid, they used to tell us, oh, the metric system is going to be ending, taking over America any day now. This was like 45 years ago that we're like, <laughs> the metric system. We're like, wait, should we be crying or laughing? Is this good or bad? The answer is the metric system is evil. No, I'm kidding. I mean, it's, you know, anyway, I guess it has its merits. But and I think 26 centipedes equals one hectare or something like that. I don't know. Okay, well, that's a cubic foot. Look at that thing. You, can you visualize that? Look at that thing. 12, that's 12 inches. You can see that in one layer, you have 12 times 12 or 144 cubes, right? But you have 12 layers of that. That's 1,728 cubes total. That's a lot. That's what a cubic foot is, all right? We're gonna actually do these volume conversions. Now think about this first, okay? If somebody says to you, oh, 12 inches, right? Well, that's just a length, right? From here to here, right? And if you had to put an exponent there, that'd be one, because it's just one dimension, right? If somebody told you 12 inches squared, well, that would be something like this, you know? That'd be three inches here times four inches there. That would be, you know, that was beautifully drawn. That'd be 12 inches perfectly squared, just like that. Now, if somebody tells you, I don't know, let's say it's a thousand inches cubed, well, you can see what that is, right? That's three dimensions. Not, that's not just, you know, this by that, but that's also there as well. And that's why there's a three there, because there are three dimensions. Okay, that's a cubic foot. Take one cubic foot, you would go like this. You put that way. And the person, and a, a cubic foot literally means you're going like this. You, there's a foot here, and there's a foot there. Now, if you just left it, that's a square foot, right? That's like you, something you put down on your, you know, your kitchen, okay? But a cubic foot means it is actually a three-dimensional object. So it looks more like this, right? You're not just going up and down. You're going like that. You know, you can kind of visualize it. It looks, it looks like this. And there you go. Okay. All right. Well, let's do some conversions. Trust me. Write down this process, okay? It will save you a world of trouble, okay? In Saxon, the method of converting these units is... Not quite as easy as just asking Siri, but you're going to have a method to do this and you will be able to do this just in your head after a while. They do this in Algebra 1 half, which you're in. They do this in Algebra 1. They also do it in Algebra 2 over and over and over. And eventually these get long and I don't want to say complicated, but they get a little tedious. Okay, but you want to have a method. If you have the method down, this will save you a ton of time and you'll get them right and you'll be happier, healthier, uh, richer. Oh, I forgot to give you guys that secret the other day, didn't I? I've had to look, get every single math problem right without even trying or studying or even opening the book. I'll, I'll just remind me if I don't, you know, run out of battery at the end here. Okay. Here's the conversion steps. Write these down. You're going to want to go back to this every time until you get this completely down in your brain how it works and you can, then you can forget. So make sure you're doing your notebook this way too, right? You know, boom, boom, boom. And then, you know, there's 118. There it is. Okay. All right. Write what you are given. Write what you're given. You can pause it, of course, and I'll explain what this means in a second. Number two, write the same number of fractions with that unit in the denominators. Okay, I'll explain that in a second. Number, number three is just go to it, okay? So they'll tell you, use three unit multipliers to convert 14 cubic feet to cubic inches. Okay, now again, look, look at this picture. You are not going to probably in your head, now if somebody said, said to you, oh, Convert 100 uh, feet into inches. You'd probably be able to go, oh yeah, 100 times 12, I got it. But I doubt you're going to be able to go, oh, convert 3 jillion you know, cubic feet into cubic miles. It just ain't going to happen. It's just not going to happen, okay? So let's, this is, let's do this. Con uh, use 3 unit multipliers to convert 14 cubic feet to cubic inches. First off, can you visualize a cubic foot? A, you know, a cube that looks like this, like a giant Rubik's Cube or whatever, okay? Without, with just one side to each side, okay? That's a cubic foot. Okay, 14 of those, okay, convert those to cubic inches. Can you visualize a cubic inch like, like a thing of sugar or something? You're not going to be able to do that in your head. So you need a method, and this is the method. Okay, let's go back. Step one, write what you are given. You are given 14 cubic feet. That's what you're given. So you're going to go like this. 
14 cubic feet, all right, with a three. That three is going to help you, all right? Because there is a three there, step two is write the same number of fractions with that unit in the denominators. Since you have three there, in other words, this is like saying 14 of a foot times a foot times a foot, three dimensions. So you are going to need three fractions. So don't even think about it. Just write three fractions. Each of these fractions will have what unit at the bottom? I'll give you a hint. It starts with an F and ends with a T. Okay, feet. That's it. Okay, now, now you're going to go, okay, let's see. To cubic inches, I've done this with fractions. What do I do now? Well, they want you to convert it to inches, right? Well, let's convert it. One foot is the same thing as 12 inches, right? One foot is the same as 12 inches. In this one, however, you're going to write one foot here, and up here, you're going to write 12 inches again. So now you see what happens, right? There's foot to the third power. My foot times a foot times a foot, a cubic thing, three dimension, all right? There's three of them. One, two, three, you're gone, all right? Now all you need to do is go 14 times 12 times 12 times 12. Now here's the nice thing. In the back of your book, most of the time, they're not going to make you do, uh, do all this arithmetic and 1,728 times uh, 28, uh, whatever, okay? They're just going to let you write this for your answer. 14 times 12 to the third power, right? 12 times 12 times 12 is 12 to the third power. And of course, an inch times an inch and times an inch, that's a cubic inch, right? That's an inch to the third power, and there you go. Now, if you're sitting there, you know, I don't know, needing some cement or something to fill something up, and you need, I think, isn't cement yards or something ridiculous like that? Anyway, then, yeah, you need to just be able to calculate what that is. 12 to the third power is 1728 times 14, boom, you got it. And that's your answer. So, boom. There you go. Okay, let's try another one. Use six unit multipliers. Oof, we just did three here, right? We did one, two, three. They're telling us to use six to convert 140 cubic yards to cubic inches. Now, stop for a second. Think for a second. Okay, you're converting 140 cubic yards. Can you visualize a cubic yard? A yard's this long, right? So it goes like this. It goes right at you three feet, and it goes up three feet. Like there's a cubic yard, uh, you know, you're you know, carrying this around. 140 of those. How many cubic inches are in all of those? Uh, you're just not going to be able to do that in your head. you got to have a system. we got our system. The first thing is write what you are given. What are you given? You tell me. What are we given? Ah, dang. I underlined it on accident. But anyway, okay, you're given this. 140 cubic yards. Put YD with a 3. Okay? All right, now you're going to need, of course, three fractions. Don't even think about it. Just write the three fractions. Oh, there we go. You know what's going to be. It's going to be yards down here, yards and yards, right? Okay? But they're wanting cubic inches. Ugh. Okay? Uh, let's go from yards first, however, to feet. So a yard is three feet, right? A yard is three feet. A yard is three feet, all right? Don't even think about it. Just there's my three, right? One, two, three, bing, done. Are we where we want to be? The answer is no, we're not. Okay. We are not where we want to be because we have feet. A, a, a foot times a foot times a foot is a cubic foot. We don't want no cubic feet. We want cubic inches, okay? That's why they told us to use six of these things instead of just three. So we're going to go, okay, well, fine. We'll just go to, from feet to inches, all right? So we have three examples of feet at the top. Don't even think about it. Feet, feet, feet at the bottom. There we go. We want inches. Well, a foot. You don't even have to write the number one if you don't want to. 12 inches, 12 inches, 12 inches, okay? And if just very quickly, 10 seconds, in case you've forgotten what this all means, you're taking this and you're multiplying, what is this fraction equal to? What is three feet divided by a yard? One. Three feet divided by a yard? One. Three feet divided by a yard? One. What's 12 inches divided by one foot? One, one, one. You have multiplied 140 cubic yards 
by one six times. What's, what is this times one six? It doesn't matter. It's the same thing, right? All we're doing is changing the way it looks, okay? So we go, you, 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 feet are gone. Now we have an inch times an, an inch times an inch times an inch. That's a cubic inch. That's what we want. So again, you don't, the Saxon doesn't make you figure out all this, oh, I have to do all this jump, okay? You're just gonna go, go here. All these are ones, pointless to even write that. So three times three times three, let's just write three cubed. And you don't have to write the parentheses around that. The 12 times 12 times 12 is just, let's just write 12 cubed. Okay, an inch times an inch times an inch, that's a cubic inch, right? Inch to the third power, there we go. That's it, that's all you need to do. Again, obviously, if you're doing this for real, then you'll want to do, actually do the calculations and everything like that. So anyway, okay, there we go. That's how we do them. So, all right, try another one. Holy moly. What a terrible number that looks like. Okay, convert that to cubic miles. Blech. Okay, number one step is to do what? Write what you're given. You're given 50 is that trillion, jillion, bazillion? Okay, I don't know. Anyway, cubic inches, that's what you're given. To cubic miles, well, don't even think about it. Just write immediately inches three times to match that inches three times, right? Okay. So, inches and miles, ugh, who knows that, you know? We do know, however, inches to feet, right? So there's my 12, there's my 12. And there's my 12, and then that's a foot, that's a foot, and that's a foot. Okay, let's start crossing, right? Inches to the third power. One, two, three. Didn't leave myself enough room to go all the way to the right. I'll just carry it to the next, to the next thing here. So I know I'm going to get rid of these feet, right, because I want miles. Okay, so just don't even think about it. Just write, in, man, don't even think about this. Just write FT, feet on the bottom. Do, do, and do. Okay. Well, how many feet are in a mile? One mile, one mile, one mile. Okay, there's 5,280 feet, 5,280 feet, 5,280 feet. And then again, look here. Your feet are on top, cross, 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 and then doop, doop, doop on the bottom. And now I want you to go ahead and do all the arithmetic. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, 50,000 blah, 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 times one, 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 one. Okay, I'm just going to write 50. Million actually, sorry. Uh, 529. That's on the top. On the bottom, 12, 12, 12. That means 12 to the third power. And then over here, you know, I'm just going to kind of do that. And then I'm going to write 5,280 to the third power. And then I have mile times mile times mile. That is mile to the third power. What that is, who the heck knows? Um, I don't care. We're just, just an exercise. So 50 million cubic inches. Can you visualize 50 million like little sugar cubes? How many cubic miles? You know what a cubic mile is? Good grief, man. You're going to go a mile this way, then a mile that way, then a mile up. Okay? And then that's, I mean, you know, anyway. If we were to do, if we were to do the math, it wouldn't be very much anyway. Okay. All right. The method is the thing. Don't get cute. Just if you want to do this brainlessly and just rotely, uh, I'm just doing a method, fine. After a while, it'll start sinking in and you'll get it and you'll get, be getting the answers at the same time. So, okay, go to page 373, pause it and give this a whirl. Okay, uh, a million cubic inches. Stop right there. I'm given a million cubic inches. Just put three and don't even think about it. You, all you need to do is just go bloop, bloop, and bloop. I'm like this small enough so I can get it. So inches, there's three times on the bottom, inch, inch, and inch. Okay, so miles to inches, I don't know, but I know there's 12 inches to one foot, 12 inches to one foot, 12 inches to one foot, and then inch, 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 they go away. Yoop. And then we want miles, so we just need to just duh, brainlessly just go feet, feet, and then feet. And uh, let's see here, those will be crossed away. So a mile, one mile, is 5,280, mile is 5,280, and one mile is 5,280. And again, look at this. You one, two, three, cross out on top, one, two, three, cross out on the bottom, and go ahead and make sure that you do this part. A million times one all the way across, that's gonna be a million. 
Okay, the bottom is going to be 12 to the third power. With these cubic ones, it's always, you know, something to the third power. And then this is going to be 5,280 to the third power. And then for a unit, you have a mile times a mile times a mile, which is a cubic mile, which is what we want, right? Cubic miles. There we go. Okay. All right. We will see you guys next time. We are inching up on the end of algebra one half. Okay. See you all next time. Take care.